Hey guys, it's Prime Score from Shockbite, and today I'm going to show you how to upload and use a Minecraft resource pack on your server. And so you're you're playing around on your Minecraft server one day, all alone, and you just sit there and you notice how boring Minecraft looks. I mean, when you first started, you're like, oh my god, this game looks so different and it's so amazing, and now you're just so bored of how it looks, and you want to change it up for everybody on your server. Well, you can do that easily, and I'm going to show you how. And so step one... Um, we're going to need to make sure that you have a WinRAR installed um, because you want to be able to use a .rar file and a dot, dot .zip file. .rar just in case, but .zip file for sure. And you are also going to need to have a Dropbox account or an account to a file hosting website. Uh, Dropbox is pretty easy to use and they have a, a free option you can use. And then the third option or the third requirement is you are going to need to find the best resource pack you can possibly find. Because we ain't gonna settle for no low tier resource pack. We only settle for high tier resource packs. And so once you've found the best resource pack ever, you're gonna need to download it. Obviously download the one that works with the Minecraft version you are using. And once you have downloaded it, you're gonna need to investigate it to see if it's perfect enough to upload. And so what we are gonna look for is, we'll right click on it and click properties. Step one, look at type of file. If you see this saying uh, zip archive dot zip, you are golden. If it says dot RAR, you're gonna need to follow the steps. And so, um, or follow the following steps. But we are also gonna need to check something else before we get started. Um, if you open up your resource pack and you see, and you see uh, these three uh, folders and uh, items in here, so assets, pack.mc, made up, pack.png, um, then you're also golden. So if it's a dot zip and it has these three things, you don't have to do what we're going to do next. However, if you open this and it like says your resource pack name again, then you're going to need to follow these steps as well. So step one, you can ignore this if um, you're golden. If you're not, step one, we're going to create a new temporary folder and then we're going to just highlight all three of these and upload them or extract them to this new temporary folder. After that, Open up the new folder and highlight those same three things and right click add to archive. Now just rename it to the resource pack. Uh, this was happened. And then make sure you click zip. And then you click OK. And so it's going to create a new uh, zip file. And this is this zip file that we just created. You can just drag it back to your desktop. Um, we'll rename this real quick. To Drag it to your desktop and then we can exit out of the new folder and then you can delete the new folder. You can also delete the old one as well. And this is the one we're going to use. So now uh, let's get back to the show. So um, you can, uh, this is where you will pick up if everything was golden for you. And so we're all on the same page now. So step two, so we're, we're going to need to go to the Dropbox and we have to upload this awesome resource pack. So I'm just going to upload this and I'll be right back. So the resource pack is done uploading. Now you click the, the share button and then you click, you will need to click create a link. And so you want to copy that link and then head over to your server panel. And so on your server panel, let's click on files and then we can click on config files. And then you want to click the server settings, which is the server.properties file and open that up. And then we are going to need to find the resource pack, uh, entry right here. And so all we have to do is just paste this awesome link we have, and we will need to change the zero at the end to a one. So this essentially, if it was a zero and you pasted it in your Google Chrome, um, it's just going to bring you to a page where you can click download. However, if you change this button to a one, or if you change this zero to a one and you paste it into uh, Google Chrome, it'll automatically start downloading with, without having to click a button. And that's what we need. And so just changing the zero to a one will do that. And then just make sure it's HTTPS dot or colon and then slash slash in front because you, you need that too. And then you click save because if you don't, it won't work. Then you'll go back and you will have to restart your server so it can load in the new files and fetch the resource pack so that your awesome server members can have an amazing time. And so we're going to head to the console and see how fast it's going to take to load up. So... The server is online and let's go check out our new server. As you can see, it restarted and we're, we're just going to click the, the, the play button. 
and then we're going to connect to our server and we're going to join the world and we're going to load its terrain because you got to do all those and then you get this awesome uh new notification and obviously we're going to click yes because if we don't click yes then all of this would have been uh, fruitless and so it's gonna uh, lag a little bit and pause and, and it's crashing oh no that's not uh -oh. There we go. And so our resource pact worked and Minecraft looks so much better now. Um, if your players didn't see that uh, prompt pop up, um, what they can do is click disconnect. Don't worry, they're gonna reconnect because you're gonna show them this awesome Minecraft resource pack. And they click on your server and just click edit and make sure server resource packs is set to enabled. And then they can just rejoin your server and then it's gonna prompt them uh, again. Um, anyways, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, do not hesitate to head over to shockbite.com and send us a ticket. Anyways, thank you for watching.